Perhaps you were recently out with friends who constantly told you that's not what they meant. Or, I'm just kidding. Or, no one else thinks that way. It's just you. It's for your own good. Or, you're just being too sensitive. All of those phrases are a narcissistic person's way of showing their superiority over you. If you feel like your coworkers, so-called friends, or even relatives are narcissistic and are constantly twisting reality with words, maintaining their dominance over you, and undermining your self-confidence, causing you to feel worthless, this video is for you. What I'm about to share with you will help you overcome those conversations with narcissists that leave you feeling confused, angry, resentful, dejected, and of course, worthless with a lower sense of self-esteem. First up, we have the classic dodge, that's not what I meant. This phrase is a favorite of narcissists. How many times have we heard someone twist their words to flip the blame onto you? It's like the Swiss army knife of narcissistic phrases, versatile and always at the ready. But here's the thing, when a narcissist pulls out that line, they're not just clarifying a misunderstanding, nope, they're often up to something a little bit sneakier. This is a classic tactic to dodge responsibility and gaslighting you into questioning your own perceptions and feelings. It's also protecting their self-image by manipulating the conversation to fit their narrative, by creating a cloud of confusion. When you hear, that's not what I meant, try these comebacks. Oh, can you clarify what you mean? I understand that's not what you meant, but that's how it came across. Regardless of the intention, this is how it affected me. And then of course, tell them how it affected you. I need to express how I feel without being told I'm wrong. I've noticed you often say this when I bring up concerns. That makes it hard to discuss my point of view. Remember, it's not about winning an argument. It's about protecting your self-esteem and maintaining your reality in the face of some pretty slippery tactics. Stay strong, stay clear, and don't let those words twist you up inside. This next phrase is another narcissist classic. I'm just kidding. No, I, I mean, I'm being serious. They would say, I'm just kidding. Narcissists love to use humor as a shield and avoid accountability. When they say something hurtful and then claim, I was just joking, they shift the blame onto you for not being able to take a joke. This phrase helps them control the story and maintain their superiority over you by avoiding accountability while dodging responsibility and deflecting criticism while messing with your perception. When you hear, I'm just kidding, try these comebacks. Even if it was a joke, it hurt my feelings and I'm not cool with that. I don't appreciate jokes that make me feel unappreciated. What exactly was supposed to be funny about that? That comment made me feel really uncomfortable. I've noticed you often say this after making hurtful comments. It's affecting our relationship. Remember, just because someone says they're joking doesn't mean you have to laugh. Your perspectives, opinions, and feelings are valid and you have every right to speak up. Don't let those just kidding moments chip away at your self-esteem. Moving on. Let's talk about isolation tactics. No one else thinks that way. It's just you. This one's a real doozy. When a narcissist drops this bomb, they're not just agreeing with you. They're trying to make you feel like you're on a deserted island or crazy. Let's unpack this sneaky little phrase that's designed to make you doubt yourself and feel isolated by knocking your confidence. It's a classic gaslighting move. Once again, they're trying to control the story by shutting you down invalidating your feelings, and piling on that peer pressure angle. It's like they're trying to make you feel like the odd one out at a party, where everyone else is in on the joke you don't get. When you hear, no one else thinks that way, it's just you, try these comebacks. I respect that others might see it differently, but this is how I see it. Can you explain why you think that? Everyone has different perspectives, and that's okay. It's important for me to express my thoughts without them being brushed aside. I've noticed you often say this when I share my thoughts. It makes me feel overlooked. Remember, just because someone says you're alone in your thinking doesn't make it true. Don't let anyone gaslight you into doubting yourself. Next, we have the facade of concern. It's for your own good. This phrase is a sneaky way to justify control and suppressing any resistance while maintaining their squeaky clean image by pretending to be helpful, which also is an attempt at creating dependency. Narcissists deflect criticism by saying things like, I'm just concerned about you, but their true motive is to manipulate and exploit you by making you feel small. This one's a real piece of work. When a narcissist drops this line, they're not exactly winning the selfless person of the year award. 
It's like they're trying to be your personal life coach, but the only one winning here is them. When you hear it's for your own good, try these comebacks to stay in the driver's seat of your own life. Can you explain how exactly it's for my own good? I appreciate the thought, but I need to make my own decisions. Even if you think it's helping, it doesn't feel right to me. I need you to respect my choices, even if you disagree. I've noticed you often say this when I disagree. It feels dismissive. Just because someone claims to know what's best for you doesn't mean they actually do. You're the expert on your own life. Don't let anyone guilt you into giving up your autonomy. Finally, let's talk about the ultimate invalidation. You're just being too sensitive. This phrase is manipulative because it invalidates your feelings by messing with your head and makes you seem like you're the problem. Narcissists use it to dodge responsibility by controlling the story and shutting down any dissent by making you feel guilty for having emotions. They might say something nasty and then laugh it off, claiming you're too sensitive if you get upset. It's like they're trying to make you the villain in your own emotional story. Not cool, right? When you hear you're just being too sensitive, try these comebacks. My feelings are valid and I deserve to express them. Let's talk about why you think I'm being too sensitive. Regardless of your intention, this is the result on my end. I need to express my feelings without them being disregarded. I've noticed you often say this when I share my feelings. It makes me feel like you're brushing me aside. Look, being sensitive isn't a flaw. It's a superpower. Don't let anyone make you feel bad for having feelings. Your emotions are valid no matter what anyone says. Now that we know these common phrases and provided a few ways on how to respond to them, it's important that we take a look at the bigger picture. These manipulative tactics aren't just words. They can deeply impact your well-being, including your self-esteem and your effective communication in your relationships. So how do we move forward and protect ourselves from the phrases narcissists use to hurt us? It starts with recognizing these phrases for what they are, tools of narcissistic manipulation. Armed with this knowledge, you can now maintain your self-esteem by protecting and preserving your self-worth and confidence. Prevent further emotional manipulation and maintain your personal space and integrity. Reduce the emotional impact, making it easier for you to stay calm and composed. Take control of the situation, reducing the narcissist's power over you. Improve your mental health by reducing anxiety, stress, and confusion. Develop and maintain healthier relationships by identifying toxic behaviors and addressing them effectively. Now, I shouldn't have to say this, but I do. Whenever possible, limit your interactions with narcissistic individuals. Remember, you don't have to engage in conversations that attack and bring down your self-esteem. By identifying these narcissistic behaviors, you're taking a powerful step towards maintaining your sense of reality and valuing yourself. Effective communication, especially with challenging personalities, begins with self-respect and firm boundaries. To learn more about setting boundaries for healthier communication and relationships, check out this video next. It'll help. Thanks for watching. I'll see you online soon.